Even though Season 5 has been out for about a month now, there's still a ton of people who haven't gotten their first win, and there's also a ton of people who want to grind for that level 100 by getting a bunch of wins. So this glitch will help you guys get easy victory royales without even trying, and it's not even much of a glitch actually. It's mainly just a feature that you're using in the game to get yourself a win, a completely legal feature that they're probably not going to fix anytime soon. So we might as well use it while we have it. So before I show you guys how to do that, make sure you guys subscribe. As only 5% of you guys watching right now are subscribed, and let's try to get that number up to 10 before the end of the year. And we are also super close to 32,000 subscribers, so if you subscribe right now, you could be the 32,000 subscriber. And let's try to get a like goal of 150 likes on this video. It's a little bit more than our previous video, but I think we can hit it. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to get unlimited wins. So for this glitch to work, you're going to have to be in any sort of battle royale mode, but solo works the best. So you want to drop at the Razor Crest, and you want to find the Mandalorian and kill him. So Mandalorian usually spawns around the Razor Crest, but he can also be found near the Coliseum and even close to the zero point in the middle of the map. So I would recommend dropping at the Coliseum and then moving into the Razor Crest so that you can get materials and guns before you fight the Mandalorian, as he can easily one-shot you if you don't have any shield on you. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Vinny for helping me do this glitch and getting us into a custom match so we can do this really quickly. And I'll put his creator code up on the front of the screen. So once you've killed the Mandalorian, he should drop a sniper and a jetpack. And we're going to want to use these because the jetpack will help us fly through the air. And the sniper will have this ability that lets you be jolted forward when you click on the attack button without scoping. So the next thing you need to do is go into the shed or you can go anywhere and just try to get some mats if you can. So the next thing you want to do is head on over to the zero point and you want to start building up with all the mats you got. And this can take up to 500 mats if you really want to build a platform under the zero point. So once you've gotten up to the height that you want to get to, just start building a horizontal platform, a large horizontal platform right under the zero point. This is where you're just going to stand and camp until the storm comes in. And actually you might want to start building this thing after the storm comes in so that nobody starts shooting you down, but it's really your choice. So as you guys can see, the storm has just come in and the zero point is right there. So once the storm has passed through, you want to jump into the zero point by using your jetpack to fly up. So there you go, we are inside of the storm now, and we're just going to jump up into the zero point like this. So once you're inside the zero point, it will teleport you out into a random area, either above it or below it. And now what you want to do is if you go above it, you don't really need to do anything, just go right back into the zero point. But if you go to the side of it, you will have to use your jetpack and also your sniper and if you click the attack button on the sniper as you guys can see it'll just send you flying forward which is really really useful to help out with this glitch so if you just keep on doing this over and over and over again eventually your other people on the map will eventually die to the storm and you will be the only one alive because the zero point heals you after it has sent you flying out so it'll heal you for a little bit not that long but it's enough to keep you alive and it will also heal you up to 100 once you've gone inside of the zero point. So if you ever fall below the zero point, all you want to do is just use your jetpack and make your way back up. And this could be problematic once there is a tent taker, so that's why you want to build a bigger platform under you so you can get up to the zero point. But I did not have enough mats, so I just had to make do with what I had. So I did this a few more times and just keep on using the sniper to send yourself back in. And eventually you will get the victory royale. So again, I just got flung downwards, and sometimes it'll break your buildings, which is actually kind of dangerous. So if you don't have the jetpack, this could be really problematic, which is why I definitely recommend getting the jetpack from the Mandalorian. And also build a huge platform under it that the zero point cannot get to. So that'll be easier if you get back up onto the zero point if it sends you downwards. So I'm just going to keep on doing this a few more times, and... As the storm keeps on going in, it should eventually become a 10 ticker, but you will be able to survive any sort of storm tick and this zero point will heal you to up to 100% every single time. 
So again, just keep on doing this over and over again. Even if you get sent downwards, try your best to use the jetpack to send yourself back up. And it's really not that difficult to get yourself back up once you've gone down, especially at the five tickers, but it becomes increasingly difficult once you get to the 10 tickers. So we're just gonna go into it a few more times and let's see if we can stay alive until the victory hour. We got launched sideways, so we're just gonna use the sniper and a little bit of the jetpack. and we get the victory royale hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's pretty easy and it's not even really a glitch it's just using one of the game's different features and using it to get yourself a win by healing yourself while inside the storm so hopefully this guys gets you some of your first wins of the season or just get you some of that xp from winning and we'll see you guys in another one